Hey guys, just a quick update. I went to the uh, hobby store because I needed some glue. I picked up this $3.84 thing of glue. Right? Four bucks. That's all I was going to spend. Four dollars. And I have it a sale. This is what I picked up. You got the Ivanhoe 172nd scale castle for nineteen dollars. How about that, huh? I am out of my mind. So now I get this one. Twenty-five millimeter one seventy second scale. We'll see. Heavy. $25. Uh, Ivanhoe Castle. 170 second scale, 25 millimeter. Oh boy. Let's take a look at this. Shrink wrap is off it. Let's take a look. Shall we? I organized and I confused myself. There we go. There we go. Check this out, guys. Here we go. The Ivanhoe Castle for twenty-five dollars. Wow! Look at this thing. Sheepish. Thing is huge. And that's what she said. Very cool. That would this would work great for 28 millimeters. It really would. Look at that. Right? Nice. Wow. Wow. What a bag. And it doesn't look too hard to put together. It looks pretty neat. Medieval Stone Castle series from IMAX. See right there. Looks pretty cool. Look at this Lancelot cat. It comes with figures. Wow. Westminster Castle. Westminster Castle looks just like Lancelot's castle. Go figure. Blackstone Castle is the same as Ivanhoe's castle. And then we have King Arthur's castle, which is right there, Avalon. Pretty neat. Wow. All right, guys. And it doesn't end here. Look at that. That's nice. It doesn't end here because for a dollar each, I was able to get all these books. We've got a pocket encyclopedia of 
World Aircraft and Kala Bombers between 1919 and 1939. Fighters from 1914 to 1919. Pioneer Aircraft from 1903 to 1914. Bombers from 1914 to 1919. Fighters from 1919 to 1939. Bombers in service since 1960. Airliners between the wars 1919 and 1939. Fighters in service up to 1960, or I'm sorry, since 1960. Aircraft of World War One. Pretty neat. Then we have bombers from 1939 to 1945. P-51 Bomber Escort. The Luftwaffe. Introduction by General Lieutenant Adolf Gallant. These are the old Ballantine books. Then we have, check this out, Chris Ellis. How to build plastic model kits. Fully illustrated. <laughs> wow. Then we have 50 famous aircraft. Very nice. Nice little reference book. And we got flying boats and seaplanes. Since 1910. Airliners since 1946. Fighters from 1939 to 1945. And they're, look at this. They are color plates. Very cool. Then we have early aviation. This is, uh, I love the picture. Look at that. Isn't that awesome, that painting? Look at the blimps. Very nice. Wow. And then we got plastic model, plastic aircraft models. Very nice. Wow. It's pretty neat. How to Build Plastic Model Aircraft, 1985. Building Plastic Models, Tips and Techniques from the Experts.
pretty cool one. What was this book detailing? This book was 1976. Remember I was telling you we didn't have the internet, this is what we had to use. Hints and tips for plastic modeling. 1980. What did we use lighter fluid for? Experiment with naphtha, which is cigarette lighter fluid, as a flattening agent for enamel hobby paints, such as Humble, Pactra, and Testa. No kidding. So you wanted to flatten your paint, you would use lighter fluid. Imagine that? Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Building a displaying model aircraft. Kit assembly. Look at this. Okay. The hurricane. Looks like it's chasing a Messerschmitt. Oh, man, I want to see these picks. Let me see what they got. Oh. All right. Come on. Playing games with me here. Airliners. Thunderbolt. Fuck a wolf. Cool, look at that. Hang them from the ceiling, right? Ah, oh, look at that, isn't that cool? An air cobra. And we have a Mustang and a nose dive with its wheels down. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if that would, uh, pardon the pun, but I don't know if that would fly in today's diorama making. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Not bad. Not bad. And we got some historical pictures of, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, how much did I pay for this one? Whopping two bucks. And then the color, color treasury of model airplanes. Pay three dollars for this one. <laughs> wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What else we got going on here? We got a lot of biplanes. 
We got some World War One bombers. All right, looks like we're getting into single, single wing craft now. Yeah. Wow. All right, it's gonna die, guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I went from a four dollar purchase to an eighty dollar purchase with all this stuff, and but we'll see. Look at this. some great models here. See if I can get through this book without it dying. That model looks so real, don't it? <laughs> because it is. Very nice. Oh, a great hobby. It really is. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Let me get a tiger shark right there. Oh, I'm sorry, kitty hawk. Well, P forty Warhawk. It's English, so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a kitty hawk or a tiger shark, right? Then we get the flying boats. Oh, we got a Spitfire downing a V one. We got a Stuka. Very nice. Oh wow! I forget what those Russian. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what was it? A Polikropov one. Look at that. <laughs> wow.